Ah yes, yoga. Practiced for centuries, good for the mind, body, and soul. So peaceful, right? Wrong. I love spiritual, peaceful practices like meditation, breathing, stuff like that. We all like to breathe, right? <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I never felt like I was getting a workout in when I did yoga. I just felt like I was very unflexible and I didn't really even break a sweat. It felt like a trend. Like, you know, like a, a $15 coffee and everybody gets it just because everybody else is getting it. Oh, like everybody's doing yoga. So like I should too. Oh my God. Yoga is so spiritual. and uh... To me, I would rather go for a run and then I feel clear minded after even a walk, go to the gym, lift some weights. It just doesn't feel like a peaceful thing to me, <laughs> you know, like I'm just like struggling and I feel like that's what yoga is supposed to do is like peace and like looking within and all that stuff or whatever. But I just kind of felt like I'm like struggling to even get into this weird, awkward fucking position. How am I supposed to do that? You know, and it's like, I don't even feel like I'm getting stronger. I don't feel like I'm mentally getting anything out of it either. I don't know. It just felt like whatever to me. So I thought maybe yoga. Yoga could be better if there's goats involved. Maybe something spiritual happens. Maybe I get a better workout in with goats. I don't know. I just wanted to do this because it was on my bucket list for a long time. I'm just trying to do cool shit. Just trying to do fun stuff because we're going to die. And I want to have fun while I'm here. So let's go do some goat yoga. Okay, we're approaching the goats. We got two of them and they are super cute. <laughs> And I'm super excited. Hi. Oh, we are so ready to do some goat yoga. They are adorable. Are they like mini goats? So they're rescue goats. What does it mean when they go to the show? That's usually they end up like meat. What? Yeah. I would never eat you. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. He's chewing on my little thing. <laughs> I'm signing my life away here. I don't know what possibly could go wrong <laughs> with goat yoga. I mean, anything can go wrong, right? We can get injured in yoga even without goats. Oh, uh, that's true, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. How many uh, goats do you own? Uh, I have 10. 10 right goats? Now. Nice. Yeah. Do you just have like a big backyard for them or? We have a barn. Um, there's six in my backyard and four in my friend's backyard. Yeah. Do you have other animals as well or are you yeah. mostly? I have um, cats and bunnies and chickens. Okay. And, okay. Um, we've rescued squirrels that still live in our backyard, but they're yeah. like free ranging. They yeah. their, um, find their own food. Yeah. Are you vegan? I'm not. No, okay. Well, so I'm a. Uh, I've never been great at yoga. I'm not the most flexible. I know normally just like lift weights and run, but Fun. done yoga once and I wasn't that great at it. Mm -hmm. Jump in, okay. All right. Keep your shoes on, you can take them off, whatever you wanna do. What do you think's best? Take shoes, them off. take them off. All right, okay, connect with the earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I've heard of that as like bare feet on the grass is like the most connecting thing or something. Yeah, so yeah. there's a lot of energy that you can pull up from the earth, give and receive. Okay. Um, so just like the earth, the earth has, you know, its own meridians. It has its own kind of nervous system, not like ours at all. Yeah. But it, it has its own, it has its own code. So when you ground down through it, it's a little bit more grounding. It, it kind of changes your attitude a little bit, a little bit. Um, kind of like whenever you feel a little bit sad and you head outside and you see the sun. Yeah. It brightens up the day. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, sometimes I just need to like go outside and like go for a walk mm -hmm. and then I feel better, more clear minded already just yeah. being in the sun. Yeah. So hands on the knees, we're okay. just going to move a little bit. Yeah. Feel the goat on you. Feel the goat. You can let the goat add pressure to your back and okay. lean into it. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah. <laughs> So it kind of feels like a little massage. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Uh -huh. So that's Hansel on your back. And so as you lean forward, you're kind of releasing through your hips. Yeah. And letting go through your hip flexors, your glutes, your back. <laughs> just... 
nibble my ear. Nibble your ear. Yeah. Man, he loves those ears. <laughs> I think he's an ear person. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> so now we're gonna crawl. Now you, you can even do this with a goat on you. You're just gonna crawl over to the right. Okay. Yep. You're gonna try and lay the center of your chest right over your right knee. All right. Yep. You should feel a big stretch through this side of your body. I do. Yep. Oh, that feels so good. Actually, like they're like massaging where I'm sore on my back. Yeah. That feels good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna come up. Cool. cool. And we're gonna twist. So left hand comes onto your right knee. Yeah. And your right hand comes to the earth behind you. Okay. I don't know why I was expecting something different. Oh, really? Yeah, like I wasn't expecting them to be and then so like climby. Right. Yeah. It's so what, cool though. What did well, you think? They'd just be hanging around. I thought they'd just be hanging around or like something, but they're like actually like, <laughs> Then we're gonna do what is known as cat and cow. So you're gonna okay. look forward, your heart becomes heavy and your spine becomes like a little hammock. Okay. And then you're gonna round your spine like an angry cat on the exhale, look back towards your knees. <laughs> it's funny feeling the footprints, like the footsteps on your back when yeah. you're not expecting anything to be there. So we're gonna take a left arm forward like we're gonna shake a hoof. Okay. Yep. This is gonna be tough. Yep. And we're gonna take your right leg straight back and up. Yep. Back and up like yeah. that. Now pull in through your core. Good job. Am I doing it? Yeah, you are. I'm doing it. <laughs> On the exhale, you're gonna bend your left elbow to your right knee underneath your tummy and you might fall. Good. Like this. And then you're gonna inhale it out. And then you're gonna exhale it back. And then inhale it out. Ooh, good. <laughs> Exhale it back, and then we're going to lift the seat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. Nice work. And then Gretel loves this one. You're going to take a step. All right. You've been blessed. <laughs> you have been blessed. <laughs> this one's biting my elbow skin. <laughs> He's like, I love you. He's a love you. Right. How often do you get blessed by a goat? Well, it's often. random. You never know where the blessings may land. I actually think it went down my back into my butthole. I actually think I have some of her goat, poop and goat goat's poop in mine. In your <laughs> this one's blessed. peeing right now. Nobody's ever said that before. <laughs> That's a first? That could be a first. We're so connected. Is it on me still? Yeah. Like all over, right? Yeah. You're good now. There we go. Yeah. Okay, we're okay. gonna take a step forward with just your left foot outside of the left hand. Oh, these ones seem hard. Yep. Yep, and you can create space by tenting the hand. Like so this? Now, Are we gonna stand up? Should we get closer? Yeah, I think we should stand up. Should we? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to try to walk that foot forward. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> And then you're gonna slowly start to stand up. Bring your hands on your knees first. Yeah. Good, and then round up through your spine. <laughs> can they jump from this height? Yes. Okay. You can jump even higher than you. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Good job, Greta. <laughs> That's crazy. Are right, you ready? Oof. What if you get pooped on? <laughs> uh, find tabletop, so hands and knees. Okay. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it it like kind of hurts for a second, yeah. right? How long have you been doing this? Since Earth Day of 2017. Okay, oh. so you've been you've been racking up the puns, the goat puns, ever since. <laughs> oh, he's gonna bite me! On each other's shoulders? Use oh. each other for balance. And then hands on hips. Yep. Okay. And now walk the feet underneath your hips. Good. And bend just your right knee now. Just your right knee. Just your right knee. Now take your right toes off of the earth. Wait, can you scoot it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can you scoot it just a tad? Oh. <laughs> 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 like, my, my. Do you 
you think they would freak out if the GoPro was on them? Like if they just ran around with it, I wonder what it would yeah, just look like. It's, it's, every time we've done it, nobody has thought that the footage was any good. Really? It's, kind of like, it's, like you need one of it's just like shaky. Like kitties have on some of those videos. Uh, yeah. Like a or something. Yeah. So in a yoga practice, traditionally we will say things. We might do an own a few times. We might do some mantra work, which is a repetition of sound. Um, okay. Stay, which is acknowledging this light. So it's I'm acknowledging the light that we share within all living beings and we see ourselves as one. But we change namaste to gut language. We change it into ba-ba-ste. <laughs> ba <-ba> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> she just ate it. <laughs> she just ate it. Girl, you're not supposed to eat the stickers. Oh, no. Oh. What happens if she eats a sticker? Well, they have four stomachs, and they're very hearty. I mean, people Ow. say that they can eat anything. Um, I think she's probably going to end up spitting it out. Over here, over here, over here. <laughs> How often do they are they pooping? How often? Yeah, like a lot. Yeah, I've actually always wanted to come over here. Really? Yeah, I've never been down to the LA River part. And now I have goats with me. <laughs> I like river. <laughs> it's crazy there's like a bunch of shopping carts. Have they ever fallen in the water here? <laughs> yeah, that's good. I bet they love this. Yeah. Like the rocks and stuff. Where are they like native at? Africa. Cause you said they're Nigerian goats? Mm -hmm. They're definitely pretty cool animals, you know? <laughs> I think so. I can't live without a goat I've tried. You've tried? Yeah. I don't feel complete. <laughs> don't feel complete without goats. How long have you been living with goats for? Well, I've had goats since the eighties. Oh, wow. Just, when I was in high school, I got my first goat wow. as a companion for my horse. Ah, life is not the same without a goat. No. How many animals do you have all together? Um, let's see, in my backyard? Yep. <laughs> I have six goats, four chickens, two bunnies, wow. and then two cats. Do they all get along? Yeah. Oh, wow. good. Yeah, it sounds like a dream for you, mm -hmm. actually. She oh, wants yeah? to get animals, yeah. yeah. Not right now, but... Idaho. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. We finally did it. I got to cross off goat yoga off my bucket list. I've wanted to do that for years now. Overall, it was pretty fun. I think it was a fun time. I think goats are super fun and cute. And now I can't. I, I can't even believe I eat. I've eaten goat. I didn't want to tell her that. But. It was a fun, cool experience. The goats were cute. I had a good time. I got bit up a lot. <laughs> I'm bleeding. I got shat on. I got a good stretch in. Overall, I would recommend. I think it's a, an experience, one of the weirdest, coolest experiences I've ever had. Very different than anything else I've ever done. So since I got pooped on, they said I got blessed by the goat. So now we're gonna go buy a lottery ticket and see if that's true. What did you think of it? It was really fun. They were so cute. <laughs> I would do it again. There, yeah, you would do it again? But it was painful when not on your back, for sure. I would but, bring a mat next time. Yeah, <laughs> bring a mat. And then we got horses over here. There's actually a goat turd in my ass. It, I like felt it on my butthole. <laughs> so, I know I need to wash my arm and I hope I don't get, that's my like OCD thing. I'm like, fuck, am I gonna get like something? I didn't think of that. 
Am I gonna get like something infection from a goat turd in my ass? Either way, I had a great time. Let's go get a lottery ticket now. Some Reese dipped animal crackers, some Cheez Its, some Prime. And I can win up to a million dollars on this. So, got my lucky penny. Winning numbers are 38, 12, 46, and 43. Well, I just spent $10 and I won zero. All right, uh, that's all. That's the video. Go do something cool from your bucket list. Go have fun. There's so many things to do in this world that are just weird and bizarre and different and just not the boring everyday routine. So go take someone you love to do something fun this week. Comment down below what you guys wanna see me next. Any other cool, wacky, wild ideas for me to do. And uh, I would appreciate that because I'm always looking for new things to do. So I love you guys. Thank you for the support. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.